Croyez-moi, vous ne verrez plus jamais ces demandes d'amitié de la même façon. As this man learned, once your new Facebook friend has got you talking, things quickly heat up. Donc tu la vois, elle, entre guillemets, euh, qui, qui se déshabille, commence à se toucher, puis euh, elle te demande de faire la même chose. The fake user will ask to switch to another social platform and quickly initiate a video chat. And once they've got compromising images of you, it's game over. Elle commence à te dire, euh, elle montre déjà le vidéo, le vidéo, elle t'envoie un lien sur YouTube. Si tu te déconnectes, si tu t'en vas, si tu me, me bloques, euh, j'envoie cette vidéo-là. For the victims, the potential consequences go far beyond embarrassment or even money lost through extortion. Consider the similar case of Amanda Todd. Five years ago, the BC teen was coaxed into posting compromising images and then blackmailed. In desperation, she took her own life. Here's what police told Radio Canada this week in relation to this latest story. C'est fait de façon confidentielle. Jamais euh, la, la famille est informée. Radio Canada's nine-month investigation by journalists Marie-Ève Tremblay and Jeff Yates led to this interactive web feature showing how they did their work. Tremblay used imaging software to change her appearance to that of a young guy, creating her own fake profile. And before long, she was targeted by some new friends. Jeff Yates joins us from Montreal. Okay, Jeff, so how long between the time that you and Marie-Ève created that fake profile and posted it, did you hear from people trying to, you know, work this catfish scheme? So uh, we started interacting with uh, fake Facebook profiles in the network that we discovered. And, you know, within a few minutes, we had 20, 30 Facebook friend requests from fake accounts. Uh, within an hour, we already had two of these accounts asking us on, on private messaging to switch to Skype or Google Hangouts to uh, go on, uh, have a webcam conversation. Uh, once we switched the conversation to Skype, uh, one of these accounts within five or six minutes was already asking us, you know, do you want to remove your clothes in front of the webcam so that we can, you know, engage in some sexual activity. So it was very, very fast. And what you found in part through the example of, of the fellow who's in your story is that the second someone gives over to that, exposes themselves, okay, gigs up and now we just want money or we're going to send this to everybody you know. Yeah, yeah. so that's exactly how the, the scam works. So uh, before running this scheme, they'll look at your friends, they'll, they'll compile lists of, you know, who your friends are, who your family is, your co-workers, and this is how they run the scam. So they, they'll say, if you don't give me money now, uh, if you block me on Facebook, if you stop talking to me, I'm going to send this video, I'm going to publish it everywhere. Uh, they can also publish it on public pages in the comments and tag you. So it, it's a very effective method to uh, to scare people into forking over money. So when you say they, what have you found out about who's running this? Hmm, so um, we looked at one network, and I have to say that this is one of many networks, uh, so I only looked at one of them that exists on the web. Um, so I tracked down two young men from France who have been running fake some of these fake accounts. Uh, they're from the south of France, uh, around Marseille. Um, so I can't be sure for sure that they, they are running the entire scam from A to Z. They might be renting out the audience of these fake accounts to the actual extortionists. So they, they refuse to answer my questions. But what is clear is that there's a lot of people behind this. It's very highly organized. They have, you know, an almost industrial method to seek out their victims and, you know, try and separate the chaff from the wheat and, uh, you know, And how do they do that? Who do they yeah. target? So basically, they'll, they'll post you know sexy pictures on, online and say, if, if you think I'm I'm hot, please write your age in the comments and I'll contact you. And so the men who comment on these posts are more likely to fall for these scams because they don't realize that these are fake accounts. The fellow in your story, I mean, he was I think quite brave to say, look, you yes. know, I I got entrapped in this thing and it's embarrassing, but he was saying it publicly so that others don't fall through this trap. Exactly. But, but why did he get? pulled into it. So as he told my colleague Marie-Ève Tremblay, he was a bit young, he was a bit naive. Uh, you know, the, 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 they're looking for this type of person that maybe have not had very many relationships in their life and who are, are you know, they see a friend request from, from a, a, a gorgeous woman and they're like, well, you know, this is an opportunity for me. So um, obviously they're looking for vulnerable people uh, online. That's who they're targeting. They're not looking for people who know that these are fake accounts, obviously, and they know how to 
find their victims. Fascinating story. We'll make sure that we put up a link so that people can go take a look at it. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for having me on.